we have discussed the primary active transport now we will discuss here the secondary active transport secondary active transport is the transport of the sodium ion along with another substance with the same carrier protein whenever there is a uh, transport of sodium across the membrane there will be simultaneous movement of another molecule with the sodium either in the same direction of the sodium or either in the opposite direction so this is related to the transport of sodium so the secondary active transport has two types that is core transport and counter transport so here are the examples of the core transport and the counter transport so in a core transport there will be the sodium core transport of the glucose and likewise there will be the sodium core transport of the amino acids and in the counter transport mechanism there will be the sodium and calcium counter transport which is present in every cell likewise the sodium hydrogen counter transport which occurs in the renal tubules so coming to the core transport mechanism so sodium core transport of the glucose occurs likewise like we have studied in the primary active transport when the sodium comes in con uh, contact with receptor which is present here for the sodium there will be uh, in the secondary active transport there will be also a movement of another molecule that is here the glucose molecule it will also get attached to its respective receptor in this and the next process that is the ATP changes we discussed it earlier that there will be the conformational change and this will lead the sodium ions to move inside of the cell and whenever this sodium is moving inside the cell the glucose molecule is also moving inside the cell this is the glucose molecule and this one is the sodium this is the core transport that is moving the substances uh, like glucose or uh, another is the amino acid from the ECF to the ICF through this sodium ion likewise the in, co uh, in counter transport mechanism the substances are exchanged but in the opposite direction like calcium and sodium in calcium and sodium transport mechanism uh, suppose this is the cell membrane whenever there will be the uh, movement of the sodium from outside to the inside there will be the exchange of another uh, ion that will be either hydrogen or a calcium these ions are also transported so this occurs in the outer transport these are the two type of the secondary active transports in which uh, either the substances are of the same uh, are, are in the same direction or whether they are in the opposite direction this will uh, occur in the normal reabsorption of the uh, sodium with the glucose in the intestines uh, the next one which is a uh, uh, counter transport of the sodium and the hydrogen which will occur in the renal tubule and this one that is the sodium and calcium counter transport will occur in every cell almost every cell of the body so this is uh, about the flow and counter transport mechanism of secondary active transport so this is related to the sodium of uh, sodium transport along with another ion